This is a development run. The point of the development run is to evaluate new hardware to make sure that it's going to meet EVA requirements and it's going to work the way that we expect. So if there's something that needs to change before it flies, this is the time to catch that. My name is Art Thomason. I work in the extravehicular activity group. That means we specialize in spacewalks. So we do plan, train, and fly. Uh, we plan spacewalks. We train the astronauts how to do spacewalks. And we sit on console uh, and mission control when they're actually performing the spacewalks. Today, we're at the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. We also call it the NBL. We like acronyms here. Uh, so it's a giant pool that has a space station, a full-size space station underwater that we use for training. The Neutral Buoyancy Lab is the only place where we get kind of the full experience for a spacewalk. So you can do an end-to-end, -end, six and a half hour spacewalk, practice it under the water, you leave the airlock in the Neutral Buoyancy Lab, and at the end of the day, you come back in the airlock. So you complete a spacewalk end-to-end, -end. you know what that's like, and you also get a lot of familiar reference points. Being in the water, you're able to be neutrally buoyant, so it's the best way we have to simulate what it's like to be in zero gravity. It's, it's tough to work uh, for a few different reasons. Uh, for one, you're in a pressurized suit, so it's four PSI above whatever the pressure is around you, so it's kind of like being inside of a balloon. Your work envelope is much smaller than it would be if you know, you're working in your garage or something, because you have a big suit on, um, you don't have quite the flexibility that you normally have with your arms, so you really need to work on conserving your energy. When you're translating, uh, the mock-ups are just like what you'd see in space, so it gives you that comfort of, okay, I've been here before, I know how this works. There are a lot of um, pretty unique interfaces, and um, it's pretty complex how some of, the, some of the pieces work together. So once you've seen it before in the pool a few times, it's much easier and much faster on orbit. You don't want to be out there um, on a real spacewalk learning how the hardware works. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.